for Netbook News and I'm down here at Display Taiwan. So as you can see, it's pretty busy on the show floor and there are tons of interesting things that we can take a look at. So I'm going to walk you through some of the cool stuff that I've found here at Display Taiwan 2010. So here we've actually found a mobile lamp. So this is actually a light bulb that you don't need to plug in. It's an LED light and you can actually... Oh, there you go. And touch it on and off. Can you do that again? Oh, it's the right at the bottom there. Okay. Apparently it doesn't like things. Very nice. So this is an LED light and LED lights run around 7 watts and because the they're so small and they're not that hot. They've actually managed to fit a battery inside. So this is definitely some of the cooler technology that we're seeing here at Display Taiwan. From light on. We've come across a transreflective display that we're pretty impressed with. So that's backlight off, backlight on. I think one of the main differences is, let's just let the camera focus. If you look at the smaller text, New York Times, try New York Times Reader, or this, any of the smaller text, it's really good, it's really good on, but off the finer details are a little bit, a little bit skewed. But still, uh, we don't know the TDP on this screen backlight on versus off. Uh, we'll be waiting uh, to get an email on that, so I'll include that in the article. But right now they're telling me 50%. I've come across the AO booth, a 2.4 inch AM OLED. Uh, you can see that it is transparent, you can see through it. Uh, they tell us that the vibrancy uh, is not as crisp because you wouldn't be able to see through the glass. Uh, but we're going to get Maxime to help me because he has a shorter fingernails than I do. <laughs> so you can see the, the touchscreen is fairly responsive and it is capacitive. And they're, they're, they're saying that uh, GPS is one of the future applications for this. Uh, you can actually even draw. Uh, this one's the color, and it does kind of, yeah, so it goes in there. And um, you could probably put this into glass and put it on a windshield. Uh, they are planning on making a 7-inch version. Uh, as you can see right now, there's actually some pretty good transparency and some pretty nice responsiveness. So we're very looking forward to seeing this come out in real life applications probably sometime in 2011. So this panel right there, that's actually a solar panel. They're not that, tra they're, they're semi-translucent. So you can see on this one down here, you can see the window box uh, that this light's shining on. So this is actually powering this USB fan here. Uh, this uh, more opaque one produces between five and six watts of power, while this translucent one here uh, will produce about uh, two watts. So you can see that it actually is lighting up that little light there, as opposed to this one over here, uh, which is a much obviously a much larger panel uh, and uh, much more opaque. It's lighting up this little light here. So this is this is a very new and very innovative idea for solar panels that you'd actually integrate into your into your home. Down here at the 3M booth we've come across another little innovation for USB 3. So this is a USB 3 driven monitor. Now it is plugged in to USB slots and USB 3 
will output uh, basically uh, what is it 900 milliampere. So each line will provide 4.5 watts. So this screen actually only uses 8 watts. So there's an extra watt, I guess. But uh, this is a nice new innovation that we're seeing for USB 3.0 down here at the 3M booth.